Greetings, back again here with a video response. And uh, this is a response to Retro Game Tech. Now, he had posted a video showing his uh, current uh, gaming setup, uh, the way he has his uh, system set up. So, I thought I'd show you how I have it set up here. And uh, yeah, I started doing some uh, reorganizing in the game room here uh, this summer. and. Uh, I have it uh, finished for the most part here. There's still a few things that I need to f try and find some space for. But uh, this is uh, what it looks like right now. And uh, these tables here, these are just uh, regular kitchen tables. And uh, all the other furniture that I have here uh, are all things that I picked up in various uh, uh, thrift stores, second hand stores, those kind of places. So, yeah, over here, this is the main TV that I'm using. Uh, this is a Sony CRT, and I had another TV here before, but I decided to replace that one with uh, this Sony one here. Uh, this is a bit smaller than the old one, but uh, the picture quality is much, much better on this. So, I decided to use this one instead. And I have most of my systems hooked up to this TV. So, I'll show you how I have it hooked up here in a minute. But, uh, yeah, if you start over on the right side here, we have the uh, Neo Geo AS here. Then we have an American NES. And uh, this is just a controller for the Neo Geo. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, uh, European NES. And I just uh, put a different LED on this one. But yeah, that's the European uh, PAL NES. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, on top here, we got the Sega Mark uh, III. And then to the left, there's the old uh, PlayStation 2. And then over on this side, got a bunch of other systems. This is uh, my modified Mega Drive. This is a European PAL Mega Drive that I put a 56 hz switch and a language uh, switch on. And as you can see, it's currently running the Japanese version of uh, Sonic. Also got the Mega CD here and the GameCube, a Saturn, this is a European Saturn with the uh, uh, action replay, so I can play American and Japanese games on, on this as well. And I'm planning on doing a 50-60Hz mod on this as well. Then I got the Panasonic 3DO, this is the FC1, or the FZ1. And down here got the, an original Xbox, and uh, this one has a, a mod chip in it. And I got my modified uh, Master System. Then down here, this is the Neo Geo CDC. Got the Jag and a Japanese Dreamcast and then this one here this is a, a modified Atari 2600 Junior and I've done a, an AV mod on this so it has a composite video out and I've been playing some Space Invaders here so if we go back here underneath uh, the table here this piece here, this is on wheels, so should be able to roll this out here. Got uh, a European uh, Nintendo 64. Then I got uh, one of my uh, twin Famicoms. On the second shelf, there's an Amiga C32 and a PC Engine. And uh, this is a, a dual. RX 
and then down here if you can see that's a bit dark but got the Super Famicom with uh, the Game Doctor SF7 so I can play uh, Super Famicom games and both uh, American and European Super Nintendo games so let's see if we can push this back in here Then, well, to the right of this here, I got some boxes here with various stuff in it. There's some light guns and controllers and cables. And got some more boxes here with different stuff in it. They're mostly uh, spare parts, some broken systems, stuff like that. And then over here got the uh, Philips CDI and I got some drawers here with Famicom games got some more Famicom games and uh, th this case here some uh, some of the uh, unlicensed uh, NES games that I have So, yeah, these are all the systems that are hooked up to uh, this TV here. And the way I've done it here is I have all of these uh, AV switches here. So, as you can see, back here, a lot of cables. But uh, it's working pretty well. Uh, these three here are connected together. And so are these three here and then those are hooked up to this switch here which then goes to the TV and yeah over here I have another switch which uh, connects these systems over here so it can be a bit confusing to, uh, to get the right uh, yeah, button combination here for for the system that I'm want to play but uh, <coughs> yeah it's the best uh, best I can come up with here and as I said it's working pretty well so that's how I have all the systems hooked up here then here we got some actually official Nintendo uh, drawers here and uh, here I have my American NES games Controllers and grey sapper. Some more controllers. And I got some empty space here for more games. Uh, then over here, got another TV. And here I have my uh, Commodore 64 hooked up and currently running uh, Last Ninja 2. And I'm also in the process of uh, hooking up this uh, Amiga 500 here. I'm uh, still missing some uh, cables for this, but uh, this is going to be hooked up to this TV as well here. And got some handhelds in here. Boxed uh, Famicom. And then over on this side here. This is where I keep all my games still need to organize this a bit better here there's the old TV up on top here got the some uh, boxes here and uh, got some um, uh, spare systems here stuff like that got some more games over on this side, got more boxes here with different systems in them. And then in here, so I can open this up here just a bit. But in here, I keep all my uh, box stuff. So my boxed uh, systems, peripherals, got 
the light fence there for example keep that in there uh, but yeah that is uh, my gaming setup as it looks right now I um, guess I can show this as well this is where I keep all my controllers and then in here I got all my uh, Atari 2600 games and there's my Xbox uh, 360 I'm gonna move that over to the living room uh, but yeah that is my gaming setup so uh, I'll put a link to the original video by Retro Game Tech in uh, the description so please uh, head over there and check that out and uh, yeah that's uh, all I had to show this time so bye for now and I'll see you soon Got some movie posters as well. GTA poster.